The five zodiac signs most likely to be psychic. I am Lamar Townsend. I'm a natural, intuitive, clairvoyant, clairaudient, empathic, psychic tarot reader myself. And I would love to do a personal, private, confidential psychic tarot reading for you. Please contact me at lamartownsendtarot.com or email me at lamar.townsend at gmail.com if you have any questions. Check out the FAQ section as well as the personal ethics section on my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. For your birth chart reading or tarot reading okay also please subscribe hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever i upload a new video also please follow me on instagram at lamar townsend and like me on facebook facebook.com slash lamar townsend official i've done this video like five times so excuse me i've tried to film it like five times so this is like my fifth time trying so hopefully we get through this with no problems okay so the five zodiac signs most likely to be psychic all right let's just get into it scorpio pisces cancer sagittarius and leo now notice all the water signs are on here okay it's all water and fire i mean it's interesting because water and fire both deal with intuition more so than air and earth so this is why the all the water signs are on it because you know water deals with emotions water is fluid emotions are fluid you know if you pay attention to your emotions i've been paying attention to my emotions more recently and i've noticed that i can go from happy to sad to laughing to going back to crying like you know all within an hour you know emotions are just that fluid sometimes actually most of the time emotions are just that fluid sometimes we can get stuck and block that's a different story that's a different video fire um you know that's why i put water on this video fire is intuitive fire is 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 intuition you know um fire is energy as well so you know all of that deals with psychic abilities you know intuition energy spirit you know what i'm saying all of it is fire fiery you know that's why fire people it's not just an out external thing they literally have a spirit typically of fire anyone with strong fire sagittarius jupiter uh, Aries, Mars, this, the Sun, Leo, in their in their chart is going to be very fiery. Encompass, encompass the spirit of fire. Does that make sense? So, <clears throat> and the spirit of fire is just um, very blunt, very straightforward. Usually, very you know you know take charge too. So. Let's get into it. Scorpio is ruled by Pluto and Mars. And, you know, Mars is not a very psychic planet, but Pluto is. And that's kind of what gives uh, Scorpio that, that psychic edge, that psychic ability is Pluto. You know, because Pluto sees the truth of all situations. It sees uh, below the surface. It, it, it rules the subconscious. So, you know, this is also where a lot of our um, information can come from, is from our, our, our subconscious. Um, I think there's, um, excuse me, I'm trying to, like, I thought I was going to burp, but, uh, <laughs> I'm getting so comfortable with you guys, I can, you know, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just chilling with my friends talking, so, um, but, um, I think there's, like, an, um, an idiom or something like that, um, for Scorpio, I forgot what it was, I forgot what I was going to say, darn it, um, Something about Scorpio, something about Mars or Pluto, something about intuition, something about this dip morning has just been so weird. <laughs> um, Scorpio and, alright, whatever, I don't know what I was going to say, but Scorpio um, is ruled by Pluto and Mars. And um, Pluto, you know, uh, it rules the subconscious, that's what I was going to say. And the subconscious is where a lot of our information, um, our, our psychic information can come from. Uh, you know, if there's an idiom, that's what I was going to say, uh, that, you know, um, or like there's a, I don't know if I to call it an idiom, I don't know what else to call it, I don't know why that word came to my mind, but um, there's this thing where, you know, there's a belief, I guess, that there's a lot of, you know, information, um maybe stored in our past life or from spirit or, you know, from things that we know but we don't know in our subconscious. Um, and this can also kind of be why um, Scorpios have that psychic ability too is because of that, you know, subconscious, that ability to tap into the subconscious, not only their subconscious, but the subconscious of other people. You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's why Scorpios are so easily able to tell when someone's telling the truth or not, you know, because they can see, you know, they can tap into your subconscious, you know. Um, 
so yeah that's you know that's i think pluto gives scorpio that um psychic ability that psychic uh that deep psychic ability too it's like a very very deep like you know um an instinctual knowing you know they're very instinctual scorpios are super duper instinctual uh psychic people um so for them it's just instinct you know but for other people it's psychic um Pisces is ruled by Jupiter, uh, but it's mainly ruled by Neptune, and Neptune is also a very psychic uh, planet. It rules spirituality, it rules spirit, um, it rules um, music. So, you know, this is a good way to kind of, you know, this is a good planet for meditating. This is a good planet for kind of um, uh, manifesting, you know, because music is a good way to manifest. Music is a good way to kind of um, call on spirit, you know, the, um, and, you know, music in all different ways. I mean, look at church, you know, like church has its own type to kind of music to call on its own, you know, um, to call on God, to call on, you know, Jesus and whomever, you know, whatever spirit is, is being called on at that time. You know, you know, other people have, you know, their own thing. I like to listen to Tibetan music, you know, like music is a really healing tool it's a healing tool and it's used for so many different other things so but you know pisces um you know they have that neptune energy so they have that ability to tap into that energy you know music is not just um music it's not just entertainment it's not just something we can dance to it's also it's able to heal it's it's frequency you know it, it it's a healing tool you know it's it's a it's a tool so um also, you know, Neptune rules uh, magic, it rules uh, mysticism, so these are the, like the sages of the zodiac, these are the, like the wizards, you know, like these are the people who probably have wisdom, you know, passed over from their past life or their past lives, you know, that it's like, you know, they, and once again, it's that instinct, but it's a different type of instinct from Scorpio, whereas it's an, it, Scorpio has an instinct of that inner knowing of their surrounding, um, and, and the truth of it. Pisces has the inner knowing of uh, kind of like, okay, we see the truth. What can we do to solve it? You know what I'm saying? What can we do to make it better? That's Pisces, you know. And then that's a spiritual kind of, you know, essence that they have. So Cancer is ruled by the moon. And the moon is a very sensitive planet. Uh, I don't think it's a planet, actually, but... um. Uh, but, you know, the moon is very sensitive in general. It has a very sensitive type of energy. Um, you know, it is um, also a very intuitive planet. You know, once again, the moon rules the tides of the water. It rules the ocean. Um, and once again, water deals with emotions. Emotions deal with intuition, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, you know we're, we're, we're getting somewhere here. We're, we're making connections, right? So, cancers are super duper intuitive because they're ruled by the moon. The moon deals with emotional receptivity, emotional security. Once again, it deals with intuition. Like, you know, for, for example, um, I often say that our moon sign in our birth charts, if you want a birth chart for me, um, is um, more connected to, we're more connected to that during our childhood, I think, than our sun sign. I think we grow into our, our sun sign qualities. So, you know, the moon is kind of connected to our childhood, you know, and when we're children, we tend to be more connected to our psychic abilities than we do as we get older, you know, because I think the uh, society kind of beats it out of us. But, um, you know, that's something cancers can't, you can't take that out of a cancer. You can't take that out of these signs. You know, these signs, especially the water signs, especially cancer, are just born with it, you know. You know, cancers have the ability to feel the other feelings of people. Um, they are have the ability. That's not always a good thing, you know. By the way, um, it's it's it can be, but it, it can also be really really annoying, you know, and and this and that. So, um, you know, cancers also um can tell what someone's feeling even when they're not telling the truth or even when they're not saying how they feel. That's really important. That's a good thing to have, you know, when you have people who sometimes maybe who is an earth sign, you know, some like me, who is a Capricorn sometimes, or a Libra, you know, who's an air sign, a Libra moon, who may have trouble with that, who may have trouble expressing, you know, and cancers are really, really good at that. So, um, super duper intuitive, super psychic. They see stuff before it happens, the whole nine. Sagittarius um, is interesting because once again, Sag is a fire sign, but Sag is ruled by Jupiter. Now, Jupiter is an interesting planet because Jupiter rules um, our ability to be generous. It rules our ability to be tolerant of other people. It rules also, and this is the kicker, it rules our ability to exp expand our knowledge. Now, 
you know, this whole thing, let me take a sip of water because this might be... <laughs> I know some of you just love that moment right there that I just drank the water. But anyways, this whole thing of being a uh, psychic or a uh, YouTuber, I don't know what you want to call me. I don't really know. But um, it doesn't come without seeking knowledge. It doesn't come without expanding your knowledge. Now, I will say... <clears throat> But no, I don't naturally have planets. Uh, I don't naturally have these signs in my chart. Well, I do actually, but I don't have them in strong placements. Like my sun is Capricorn. My my moon is Libra, the, which neither are on this list. My rising is in Virgo, not on this list. But my Mars and Mercury are in Sagittarius. So, um... You know, it takes expanding your knowledge. It takes learning more. It takes, um, it takes, uh, growth. It takes the ability to grow. Jupiter also rules our spiritual growth, our ability to grow. It takes all of those things to get where I am right now. And I'm kind of using, I'm kind of speaking some truth right now. This is maybe on topic, off topic. But it takes a lot of expanding yourself, expanding your knowledge, expanding, you know, how you view life to get to where I am right now. You know, like I did, I was not born knowing all of this information. Maybe I was, or right, in the grand scheme of things, maybe I was born with all of this information. Um, but it took a lot of research, it took a lot of dedication, it took a lot of interest, it took a lot of passion to, for me to actually learn this stuff and learn these concepts and to, you know, kind of find who I liked, you know, and who I resonated with, which, which information I did resonate and which information I didn't resonate with. That's what Sages do. They expand their knowledge, you know, they, they seek the truth in all things. And that's how they can expand their psychic abilities. That's not to say that Sag isn't born with it, but Sag, you know, has the ability to expand. Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about expanding, you know, your consciousness, expanding your knowledge, just expanding overall. <clears throat> And that's what gives Sages the the psychic ability that they um, tend to uh, have, but also, um, what's the word I want to use? They tend to have, but also kind of progress. They tend to have, but also kind of um, expand as they get older. They tend to expand on it, you know? So it's like, I really didn't pick up a pack of tarot cards until I graduated college you know like I didn't even know what Tara was up until that point but I was just watching horoscope readings and I was like this is really cool I resonate with this really heavy like this is giving me so much peace right now and then I was just like wait I want to expand and do do this too you know so that's what Sages do like that's why I'm like so running so hard for Sag right now because I'm like this is me like this is where kind of I fit into the grand scheme of things now my Venus is in Scorpio I don't know if that plays a big part but I think if you had to ask me, okay, Lamar, you're so good at this, like, you, you talk about this with such efficiency and accuracy, like, where do you lie in the grand, where do you lie in this list? I lie with Sag, most likely, like, that's where I lie, you know, like, I wasn't born with an innate ability to sense, you know, everything, like, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, but that Sag, Mars, and Mercury, honey, it got me here, all right, so, uh, last we have Leo, and Leo's ruled by the sun. And Leo, uh, the sun rules our life purpose. It rules our connection to our higher self. It rules our vitality for life. Um, it also rules our life path. All of these things are connected to psychic abilities. Clearly, you know, you know, Leos are wonderful because they typically have vision. And in order to have vision, you have to have some type of psychic ability, some type of intuitive ability, some type of inner knowing. You know, I'm not I can see it in my mind. I'm not there right now, but I know I can make it. I know I can get there. That's Leo. That's Leo. And they do it every time. Manifesting. Leo. You know, a lot of times Leo know what they want, you know, at a young age. You know, that is, you know, some type of psychic ability. That's some type of, you know, intuition, intuitive knowing that they have. And they also can definitely see things before they happen. I mean, they the whole nine, you know what I'm saying? Um, actually, I have a Leo friend who... Um, I think I actually inspired him to get into cards and, like, reading. But he reads, um, uh, the playing cards, which I'm like, that's interesting. Like, I kind of want him to teach me, but I'm like, that's cool. Do your own thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I vibe with it. Like, I, I love it. 
you know, like you're, you're tapping into your own kind of, you know, um, energy, your own, your own ability to tap into the same energy I'm tapping into, right? Which is spirit consciousness, the collective consciousness, right? Um, so, um, and I love that because, you know, he teaches me new things, you know, you know, a lot of people, he probably considers me more advanced than, than in him in this field. And I guess I, yeah, I consider myself more advanced than him in this field too, but, um, I don't consider myself an expert by any means. And I may know a lot, but I don't know everything, you know? Um, but he still teaches me a, lo a lot. Like, you know, like I still learn a lot from him, you know, um, along his journey of, of becoming who he's meant to become. So I love this list. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you got some clarity and understanding. This is why the, um, these five signs are the most psychic or the most likely to have psychic abilities, you know, Leo, you know, the sun is a very psychic, uh, planet. Um, you know, you can't hide from the sun. You can't hide from the sun. The sun shines light on any and everything eventually, you know, it's done in the dark, it literally comes out in the light. And Leo's are really, really good at finding out the truth too. They're really, really good, uh, detectives, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think with detectiveness, it's also comes with an intuition. Like you have to have an intuitive knowing, like you just have, sometimes detectives have like a hunch, like I just have a hunch, you know? You know, like, you know, those hunches are usually spirit, intuition, you know, um, whatever you want to call it, psychic, you know, whatever, you know, it's all the same thing to me. All right. So I thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you got something out of this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell next to the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at Lamar Townsend. Like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Lamar Townsend official. Contact me for your own reading, birth chart reading, or tarot reading, okay? My birth chart readings are full in-depth, $45 per 30 minutes. You get your asteroids, you know, explained. You get your houses, all your placements, um, you know, and if you have any questions, check out the FAQ and the personal ethics section, okay? Tarot readings are $1 per minute, very, very affordable. Um, you know, thank you for listening and watching. Peace out.